Hello and welcome to this hexagon video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'd like to take the time to talk about something very basic as uh, making selections. Uh, knowing how to make all your uh, selections in hexagon will definitely help you in uh, your modeling endeavors. So let's start out by looking at right up here. Um, these are our components that we will use our selection on. Uh, you have object selection, select faces, select edges, and select points. And then you have one more option here is auto select. If you're using auto select, you can hover over any of these components and uh, select it. Uh, you can also select, uh, find those options under the context menu, uh, which you bring up by just clicking uh, in your in uh, your 3D space there somewhere. You have all those same options here. You also have uh, the loop select, ring select, connect selection, and then you have uh, advanced selections in your context menu which also uh, you can access up here through the menu all those same selections here uh, let's select let's do a loop select first um, I've got a face selected here and then I can just press loop and uh, I'll select a loop of faces here if I hit that loop again it'll change the direction uh, you can make a loop selection with edges also you cannot do a loop selection with points so if I wanted a loop selection of points I would go to edge and select that edge and then loop it and then I'd go up here to this menu and convert selection to points and that creates a loop selection of points or vertices um, the basic selection in hexagon uh, you do that by left click or right click and drag which gives you a rectangle selection so that is right click and drag to make that selection. <clears throat> also remember, uh, let's say I was going to select this face. When I drag over that, I need to surround the whole polygon there. If I just drag in here like this and don't encompass the whole polygon there it's not going to select it. If I want to uh, that option to uh, be able to select that way I'll just go ahead and hold my left mouse button and paint select. Um, if I need to increase the selection I can use my shift and the plus key on my numbers pad to increase that selection or I can use the shift key and the minus key on my numbers pad to decrease that selection. Uh, let's say I have a I've loop selected these faces here. Uh, I can also hold my control key down and I begin to drag down. You can see we have a blue line there which will um, give us a directional selection. If I grab that one and then I you do that with the control key. You can kind of experiment on that. 
Uh, let's see here. What else do we need to talk about? We've uh, uh, these two options here are pretty self-explanatory. If I have one, uh, more than one uh, object in my scene, then I could use select next object or select previous object. We talked about grow and shrink selection. Uh, we're not going to cover uh, group selection in this tutorial. Uh, we've converted our uh, selection and we need to talk about border select. Let's say I have a uh, group of polygons selected there. I can tap my B key and get the border of the selected components there which is really handy. Uh, let's talk about I think that's about as basic of selections as we can get except for lasso select. You have a uh, two options right up here. Uh, the first one is rectangle mode and lasso mode. I can click on the lasso there and then I can oops let's see lasso Okay, a lasso can help you uh, make a more isolated selection. Let's say I wanted to grab just a certain amount of, or a little more detailed selection in here. You use your mouse key on that also. And you have to completely encompass those uh, components that you want to select. So let's go ahead and select, let's say, make a selection like this, something a little more advanced. Uh, if I have my lasso selection, uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. I accidentally did that using my control key. Um, let's see. Uh, I also, to bring up, let's go switch back to rectangle mode. I can also uh, hold my control key and then uh, hit my right mouse button to bring up, bring up uh, the lasso selection. And again that is control, click the right mouse button, brings up lasso selection. Now if, uh, if I make a lasso selection and I have some polygon selected here. I can bring up my lasso selection. Well, I can bring up my lasso selection again. If I hold my control key, you see uh, there's a little uh, minus icon on there. I can subtract from that selection. If I bring up the lasso selection again and hold my shift key, I have a plus icon uh, by, by my cursor and I can add to the selection. Well, let's see, I think um, that is about all I'm going to cover on uh, the basic selection. Anyway, I hope uh, this basic tutorial has helped you. I know we have a lot of new Hexagon users out there. And let me remind you that Hexagon is free right now. So head on over to days3d.com and download it. Come back and watch a few tutorials. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, give my video a like. So have a great day.